Hi, good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> Said no one ever who's got to go to work. I'm actually supposed to be at work right now. It's eight o'clock. But Miss Penelope could not wait for her walk. So I said, okay, we'll go for our walk. But when we get back, you better not start that of wanting to be hailed because mama's got a lot of work to do. Let's see. I was late coming in Tuesday because of a doctor's appointment. And then I was off Wednesday and then I was off Thursday. So I'm back. Penny, oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> the girls came over last night. Law, my, law, my. They came in the door. Oh, well, first of all, they had hands and faces and lips and noses, everything pressed up against my door. I said, um, excuse me, ma'ams. Did I not tell you to keep your nasty faces off my door? That I have to clean it all the flipping time? And Naomi goes, she's like pressed up against it and she starts taking the hand off and the face off and the other hand off and she's looking around like, who, me? I said, just stop, just please stop. I'm so tired of cleaning up after y'all and you're not even my kids. Ugh. So they come in and I don't know what was said, but this dog is testing the limits of my medication. I have got leaves stuck to my foot. It is not, <laughs> whatever. It's just leaves. But every time I walk, it's kicking the other foot, whatever. So they come in and Naomi says, okay, Phoenix, you sit down on that couch and don't you move and don't you say a word because you have been on mama's last nerve today and now you are gonna be getting on Tracy's nerves. <laughs> uh, I don't want that to happen either. Oh, please stand by. And I don't take any medication for it not to be working. So I guess that's whatever, whatever. Um, she's still testing the limits of the capacity of annoyance. What? I don't know. Anyway, we're all sitting on the couch. So I made the mistake of saying, I watched a TikTok today of Lily Lute making deviled eggs and they look so good. And she goes, Naomi, can we make some boiled eggs? I said, okay. Do you want deviled eggs or do you want boiled eggs? She said, well, I want deviled eggs, but first we have to make boiled eggs. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, even though she's nine, she's approaching 14 in her knowledge of everything on earth. And I don't know how to do anything. You know what I'm saying? You know when they get to that age? I'm like, girl, I'm pushing on 60. So I, I've plenty, I've plenty, I've plenty of boiled eggs. I have boiled plenty of eggs, okay? Well, she wouldn't listen to me and she grabbed them off the stove and run, rinsed them, wrenched them under cold water and cracked one open and it was still gooey and she started doing the gagging sounds. I said, I told you. So then we had to put them back on the stove and bring them to a boil again. And she was like, they've been on there too long. I said, they haven't started boiling yet. I was like, oh my gosh, why are you nine and already arguing? This didn't start with my nephew. I don't, I don't think he was like 11 or 12. Oh, <laughs> please stand by. Hi, it's me again. So, we go in the kitchen and we're boiling the eggs and she don't wanna to listen to me on how to boil eggs. But I will say she has learned, I guess from TikTok, how to easily remove the eggs from the shell. 
because let me tell you, that was quite amazing to watch. Now, they don't have eggs in their house because their sister is highly allergic to eggs. Anyway, she takes the egg and she take, she took this little spoon. It was like a, a spoon that you use for stirring tea. You know, tea, like hot tea. I am fancy and have teaspoons, okay? And uh, yeah, she was taking that and she was tapping it all around the outside of the egg. And then she laid it on the counter and she rolled it. And y'all, she picked it up and she just kind of took the shell and pulled it off. And nothing was left stuck to the egg. What kind of black magic is this? Huh? I was told by this woman who worked in a school cafeteria to take it and the pointy end kind of pop it down on the countertop and break that and then it'll come off easier. But uh, let me tell you, the way she did it was uh, quite easy and quite fast. So I did learn that from her, but we'll, we'll not tell her that I learned from her, okay? Well, during all of this, there's bits of eggs dropping all over the floor and I'm about to lose my mind, okay? And I was like, um, why are so many eggs falling on the floor? <laughs> Can you please tell me that? And she's like, oh, that's okay. I said, except it's not, because I'm going to have to clean it. And I don't know if you know this, but my back hurts. <laughs> I'm tired of cleaning, okay? I feel like all I do is clean, yet my house never gets clean, okay? Ugh. But I like for it to be clean. Uh, uh. Anyway, I'm fine. I'm just being silly. So then, <laughs> Phoenix, she comes running in there and hands me my phone. And she says, I gotta use your bathroom. And she takes off running down to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. Well, she comes walking back out after several minutes. And she goes, Girl, do not go in that bathroom. <laughs> I said, okay. She goes, well, you know, I had to. And Naomi goes, take a dump. Trust me, don't go in that bathroom because it's going to be bad because that girl eats some crap. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why are we having this discussion while we're making deviled eggs? I don't want to hear about it. I said, do you want a deviled egg? And she went, Bleh. I said, you know, you don't have to have that response every time I ask you if you want something. A polite yes or no will do. And she goes, well, I don't, I don't like them. I said, that's fine. Nobody's asking you to like them. It's just a polite response instead of gagging when I ask you if you want a deviled egg that, you know, you just, no, thank you. Could we learn some politeness in this house? Could we? Ugh. Now I know why you've been on your mama's nerves all day, okay? Well, anyway, I said, do you want some mayonnaise? Because I put mayonnaise in my deviled eggs. I mean, to me, you need a mayonnaise or mustard or some people use apple cider vinegar you need something although i don't think apple cider cider i don't think apple cider vinegar is a binding agent uh like mayonnaise or mustard but whatever i mean i feel like you need something kind of no i don't use mayonnaise i was like okay I said, well, then put me some to the side because I, I like mayonnaise. I'm a mayonnaise girl, okay? So, she said, I just need the seasonings. So, we open where the seasonings are. And she takes tahini, garlic salt, smoked paprika. Seems like there was something else. And she went and made hers. And I took mayonnaise and tahine. Now, tahine can be found, well, at my Publix, it's on the international aisle in the Hispanic section, the Hispanics. We have the uh, Latinos section. We have the England section, which has a lot of baked beans for some reason. 
Y'all eat baked beans on toast. That's the weirdest thing to me, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, y'all eat it for like breakfast. Don't get me wrong. I love me some baked beans and I would put it on toast and eat it. I just never thought about it for breakfast, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I mean, to each his own, you know? And then we have the Chinese, Japanese, whatever section where you can get some wasabi. The tahine is in the Latino Hispanic section. That's all I'm saying. T-A-J-I-N. And it's kind of peppers mixed with lime or something. Well, I put tahine in mine with the mayonnaise. It was quite delicious, I will say. Uh, tahine's not hot. Even though it's got crushed peppers in it, it's not hot. It's just, it's just a good spice to me. I don't know. I think the lime gives it a kick, you know? A nice little kick. Anyway, after the taking a dump and um, don't go in there and the eggs flying all over the place, well then I go in the living room and I heard Naomi yell something, but that's all. I can, it didn't like sink in what she said. They yell all the time, you know, they're girls. So I come back in the kitchen, Phoenix is with me. I said, where's your sister? I don't know, maybe she went to the bathroom. So she runs and she looks in the bathroom and she goes, she's not in here. I'm like, where, where has she gone? So I start going through the house like, well, I don't have anything that resembles a weapon, but you know, like clearing the house. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. But I was clearing the house. I was like looking in closets. I was looking behind doors, fully expecting her to jump out at me. You know, I mean, I was on high alert expecting her to go Wah! behind any door. She wasn't in the house. I was in the room where the door is. I was like, where in the world? Well, then I glance up and look out the front window. She's standing in her driveway talking to her mom. <sighs> Am I losing my mind? Am I losing my mind? How did she get by me? Because I was in the living room. So then she comes running back over. And I said, how did you get out of the house? And she said, well, I yelled that I was going out the front door. Well, good Lord, I'm happy you came back over and told me because she actually shut the wooden door behind her. But mm, the deadbolt on the um, storm door was unlocked. And this door was unlocked. And I would have went to bed with it unlocked because I never unlock those doors. And if I do, I lock them back. I had no idea. I was like, I must be losing my mind. And she ran out the side door uh, basically with me in the room. How did that even happen? Anyway, that was the funnies from last night and also the catastrophes of the eggs. But I got the eggs cleaned up and I cleaned my floor and all is well. But yeah, I was like, yeah, it's time for y'all to go home because you're now on my last nerve. You're exceeding the limits of my medication. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Smile. Piss people off. Make people happy. Or just make people wonder what you've been up to. And let's practice kindness, okay? Goodbye.